What is up YouTube, Kellen back at you here, Kellen Isaac to be exact with another video. This one's gonna be a little bit different than the previous couple videos I've done uh, with those being running challenges. This is gonna be part two to a part one that I did a while back on how procrastination can kill. First off, if you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna go ahead and link that up top. Make sure you guys check that out. Also, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. So I have my little notebook here. I wanted to actually jot some things down for this one. It's a little bit easier, I guess, for me to go in and talk about a couple things that I wanted to talk about here. In the last video about the procrastination, I talked about a few things that you can do to help, um, or like why procrastination kills, what it's done to me in my life and how that it's affected me. So if you wanna see more on like that side of things, again, make sure you go check that video out. Today, I just wanted to tell you guys um, some things that I've noticed over the past few weeks and where I've improved. So the first thing I came to realize, and I've known this and I've told people this for a long time, but I didn't really truly know it until it happened. So I had to identify some things in my life that were stopping me or preventing me from reaching my goals. And those few things were weed, certain friends, Netflix, and women. And I'm just being honest here, that is 100% a few of my biggest hangups over the past few years, or if not my whole life. Reason being is with weed, I would take a lot of time out of my day to smoke it. And once I would smoke it, I just wouldn't want to get anything done. And even if I did, even if it was in the back of my head about, oh, I need to get this done, I would just kind of be like, eh, screw it. I'm not going to get to it. I'll just do it tomorrow. And then that vicious cycle would continue as it would with the other things as well. And then Netflix. I love watching movies, man. I really do. But sometimes you can get on this binge and it just sucks you in. And it's easy to sit there and just watch TV. So I've had to really kind of uh, watch what I'm watching or limit myself to like one movie a day, maybe at night before bed or, or just something like that. And then the next thing was certain friends. It's not to say that friends that I have were bad friends. Of course, I've had some not so good friends in my lifetime. But I really noticed that my group of friends particularly likes to get together at night or some of them just like to smoke the weed. And since I'm not smoking anymore, what can I really do with that? You know what I mean? And I noticed that I'm a very lonely person. I get lonely and I get sucked into um, this mindset of like, you know what? I need to go hang out with people. I need to socialize because I'm, I'm, I'm so bored here. I'm, I'm lonely. I've been alone all day or, or whatever the case may be or scenario may be. So let's say I would create, like for instance, I made the video about creating a routine. So one day I made the routine and then by that night I was going out, hanging out with some friends. And in my head I would be like, you know what? I'm just gonna stay out late tonight. I'll wake up in the morning and just bite the bullet. That's never what happened. What would happen is, is I would sleep in the next morning, not accomplish my first goal of the day. And then right when I wake up, that would just start my day super negatively. And then that would just kind of continue throughout my day. And then the vicious cycle would continue. And then I would say, screw it. I'm just gonna go over here and smoke. and hang out with my friends i'm not even gonna worry about this stupid routine you know what i mean so that was that and then with women so i had a problem again with the loneliness so i i, I would let's say i meet somebody and i devote all my time to them when really i should be focusing on myself and the goals that i would like to accomplish because i'm not where i need to be you know like i've gotten to this point where i've lost all confidence or i've lost and I have all these self-conscious issues or I just downed myself and didn't feel like I could do anything because I wasn't accomplishing the goals I set. I wasn't getting that feeling of accomplishment. I wasn't feeling great about myself. I wasn't doing anything for myself. Everything's been for everybody else pretty much. And then the other times I've just been lazy. So those are the things that I had to identify and kind of set aside for now. Like I heard Will Smith say, self-love is when you can look at those things or identify those certain things in your life and you go, eh, yeah, I kind of want to go out, but you know what? I'm not going to because I've set this goal and I'm going to guard that goal because in the end, end that's what's going to make you happy. That's what's going to fulfill you. I'm a Christian, so Jesus definitely does all these things as well, but I'm just talking about the procrastination. It was a kind of like a trial and error to overcome all these things, and I'm still trying to overcome a, a lot of these things. And I've gotten a lot better the past few weeks. You know, of course, I've, you know, obviously I've posted the, the running challenges which have been great, probably accomplished more in the past few weeks than I have in, in years. And, and it, I feel awesome, I feel great. Like not smoking weed this Monday, today's Saturday, this Monday will be two weeks without the weed. And I've never felt better. I honestly, I think way clearer and, and so forth. I'm not gonna get into all that. We'll, we'll talk about the weed thing in another video. You know, looking back now, since it's been a couple weeks and I've been doing a lot better, I realized that those reasons at the, those particular times in my life were more important than the goals that I was setting. 
So maybe like for me, the girlfriend I had or the friend I had that I was smoking with every night or whatever, I was making those things more important than my goals that I wanted to reach. And I would say that at those points in time, my mindset was, was I was I was looking at it backwards, you know? I was doing things and searching for happiness and confidence in women or, or things that I do, like I like to do music stuff. And I was searching for it in all the wrong areas when really I just needed to buckle down and accomplish the things that I have set out to do and guard my goals each day in order to feel a lot better about myself and you know give myself some self-love and and really just make a positive move in my life for things that are that are making me feel better and not be distracted by all of these outside things that truly haven't helped me no offense if you're my friend if you're my homie you're my homie but or if you're one of my exes i'm not talking bad about you i'm just saying that there's no way you guys could have brought me happiness there's no way you guys could have gave me confidence or anything like that's that has to be found within myself and since i was giving more attention to everybody else or giving my attention to weed and netflix i just wasn't focusing on that side of things for myself it wasn't until i set those things down for the past couple of weeks and started running full force to my goals that i started to realize how much they held me back they really held me back and that's like real pain for me just looking back and being like man i could have i could have had all this accomplished by now i probably maybe even could have been married by now or something crazy who knows but that's not the path that i'm on so that's neither here or there i've learned a lot about myself in just a short amount of time i realized that for a long time i've been putting my own self on the back burner and that's just never good man there comes a point in time in your life and it's not selfish you're not selfish because you don't wanna go out late at night. It's selfish for your friends to try to pull you out late at night when they know you have goals to wake up in the morning. They should be pushing you to do that. And another thing I've noticed is that circle of friends will change. You're gonna find friends that like to wake up that early, that like to, that like to run, that don't smoke weed. And not to say that you have to drop all your old friends. Like I have a lot of good friends that I've had since I was a kid that will remain my friends, but I just can't go over there every night and sit with them while they're smoking weed because the conversation is a little bit different. I've just had to, you know, kind of get used to this curve. It's, a, it's like a learning curve, uh, if you will, of changing kind of how I live my life and the people I'm surrounding myself with and what I'm feeding my soul, man. That's gotta be, that's gotta be a big thing for me. I also realized that creating a routine uh, means nothing to me until I quit and I put those things down and I stop procrastinating in a little bit because all I would do is create this routine, post a video to you guys, and then I just, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't, I mean, I'm just being honest. Like I wouldn't do it. I would set out to do it. But then again, my mindset was all wrong. I would set out to do it, but my priorities weren't straight. I wasn't guarding my goals. I'd be like, I'm gonna create this routine, but then I'm gonna break this routine. Does that make any sense? You can't create a routine and break the routine. That's not how it works then your routine fails. So for me, I had to guard these goals. Maybe you just don't have this problem, but this is something I struggled with. And I hope that um, if there's anybody out there that's also struggled with this, that this can be like a little bit of motivation for you and maybe a little bit of a light, of, light, light, well, light at the end of the tunnel for you. And once you can set those things aside, then you can start to do stuff like create a routine. Then you will follow your routine. You'll start to see yourself procrastinating less because you don't have those distractions in front of your face. At least that was, kind of what I was going through. Now there's times, granted, I'm still lazy. Like I need to go do the dishes. I still have a pile of clothes over here. But granted, th there is days where you're gonna be lazy and stuff. And I've gotten to a point now where I realize that I'm procrastinating a lot less, but now I need to go in and create a new routine. So since I've kind of ridded my life of most things, most things, there's always gonna be something to improve on but since i've ridden myself of those things that were distracting me i feel comfortable in knowing the fact that i can go in and create a routine now and i would say 99.9 percent .9 i'm gonna follow that routine because i'm not doing anything else i'm just at a point now where i'm gonna guard those goals i will stay home alone and guard those goals because let me tell you what nothing has brought me as much peace and, and happiness than the, the things I've been participating in in the past couple weeks, the quitting of the weed and, and getting rid of some of those distractions has helped me tremendously and I feel probably better than I have felt my entire life. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make another video about uh, quitting weed, the benefits of that, the downsides to that, the, the struggles to that, but that's not for this video. And then the last thing I will say is maybe you're a person that has kids, like one of my ex-girlfriends has three kids, that could be rough. Like how can you possibly not procrastinate man you're exhausted you just you're a single mom you were a single dad or, or whatever or maybe you're not single at all maybe you're just your schedule's filled with the with the with work stuff and the kids and whatever you got going on maybe you can look into things like more like since i don't have kids like this worked for me i was able to devote all of my time to myself and like my walk with christ but maybe you can 
um, looking to things like the 10 minute rule, which I will actually, I'm not gonna go into it because I haven't done it. I don't, I don't really need to do it, I don't feel like, because I have the time to actively work on myself all day long. Some of us don't have that luxury and I'm aware of that. So I will leave a video down below. It's by Wheezy Waiter. He does the, uh, the 10 minute rule. The dude's awesome. I love a lot of his videos. Make sure you check him out. Again, I'll leave that down below. Other than that, guys, again, if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up. That is it for today. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you have any advice for me or any feedback, please leave that in the comments. I would really appreciate it. I would love to interact with you guys. Anyways, that's it. Peace out, y'all.